is about to begin. And you're gonna love it. What's up, YouTube? This is Lockshox Topher here, and I am reviving the Vanderbilt Dynasty. Although I have lost footage from week 8, as you can see there. I don't have the army footage, but I'll review what happened. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to it. It's been so long since I put out this thing, or this series, and I wasn't going to, but one of my subscribers suggested I bring it back, so I decided to. There's the SEC East standings. As you can see, we sit at 4th in the total SEC picture. We sit at 7th. And now we're facing 25th in the nation, Arkansas. I'm sorry for the scrappy, bad gameplay. Uh, it was really just bad. I shouldn't have played a user game. I'm not planning on doing that for the rest of this series, and I apologize. But Arkansas striking on their second play of the game. Tyler Wilson, the child, that's inside of the 10. And then the game recording device glitches out, and Wingo scores a touchdown on the next play. So Arkansas gets up early on their first possession, 7-0, but Carter Samuelson on Vanderbilt's first play of the game. He'll hit Umo for a huge touchdown. It's at sevens apiece. Tyler Wilson handing off to Wingo. He's got room up the middle, converts there on third and three, which later in the drive will bring up this third and nine. Tyler Wilson decides he's going to tuck it to the left himself. Misses the diving tackle, and then gets wailed as he steps out of bounds. If EA had it in, that would be a late hit, and he'd probably get ejected for that. But they don't, thank God, but it doesn't matter because Tyler Wilson stays healthy and hits right for the touchdown, putting Arkansas up by seven. But Carter Samuels will hand up to Zach Stacy, who will get a pretty big carry there, converting on second down. But on the next one, he kind of juke steps back and gets sacked or hit for a loss. And then later, Carter Samuels will find the big tight end, Barden, for the first down. Fourth and one, they're going for it. Zach Stacy up the middle. He follows the block, bounces out to the left. Touchdown, Commodores. 14s apiece. But the ball goes back to Arkansas. And Wright catches the pass from Wilson. He gets a little bump off. Then gets to almost the 30-yard line before getting brought down by the Vanderbilt defense. Tyler Wilson on the draw, handing off the Wingo. He spins, he jukes, he drags, and he gets to about the 12-yard line. Vanderbilt cannot stop Wingo or Wilson, but here on 3rd and 12, he throws it. His guy does not keep his feet in. They will review the play, and I don't agree with this at all. It looks to me like he was out of bounds, but they end up giving it to him anyways, and so Arkansas will get the ball uh, and this is what happens. They end up fumbling on the option. They get stripped, and that is awesome for Samuels. He picks that up and takes it to about the 30-yard line. Gets a nice little return on that fumble. Given setting up Carter Samuels in the Vanderbilt offense with some momentum as he'll find Barden. He's had a pretty big game for a tight end so far, and it's only the first half. Carter Samuels gets sacked, though, here on 2nd and 13. But they'll try for the field goal before half. He gets iced at home before half. Didn't know it was possible, but it worked. It's wide left. It looks like it's going to be 14s apiece going into halftime. Tyler Wilson trying to put up a prayer to get some points on the board. And they beat the Vanderbilt defense. And they get with inside the red zone with five seconds left. Talk clock is ticking. 2-1. Touchdown, Arkansas. They're going in with the lead by 7 at halftime. Umo trying to get his team good field position here in the second half as he returns the kick. Some nice blocking set up. Umo has a hole. Nothing but green in front of him. Big day for Umo as he has two big plays already. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Just like that. First play of the second half, and we're all tied up again at 21s. Tyler Wilson, Hayward gets greedy, tries to go for the pick, and he lets Hamilton catch it and run with it. Hamilton takes it in for a touchdown. Tyler Wilson answers back fast, and as you can see, sets the NCAA longest pass record to 81. Not good for Vanderbilt's defense, but Umo trying to bring it back again. He looks like he would have it, but unfortunately, there was a clipping penalty on the play. Arkansas lucks out, as I don't believe it was a very crucial clip to the play. It could have gone either way. Either way, it would have been a big return, but they don't do anything with it, as they'll stall out and give the ball back to Tyler Wilson, who's been very dangerous today, as you can see. 10 for 15, 321 yards, 3 touchdowns. Wilson drops back. I don't know what is going on with our pass defense, but they cannot cover these receivers in man-to-man. -man. But they hand it off to Wingo. He fumbles, which is very rare for him. And 
Vanderbilt will get another chance with it. Down by seven. Carter Samuel sacked, though, on first down, bringing up second and 19. Carter Samuels, he hits Zach Stacy on the screen. He follows his blocks, and nobody is going to catch him as he takes it to the dorms. Touchdown, tied up again, 28. Here we are late in the third quarter, and Arkansas can just not pull away from Vanderbilt. But they have a big kick return. Can he take it? No. Vanderbilt comes in right at the end, although they return it to their side of the 50. Wilson going deep. He overthrows Childs for the touchdown, but he'll try and get it back here as he hits right over the middle to about the 10 or 11-yard line. First and ten, Tyler Wilson hands off to Wingo. Wingo powers it in. Arkansas back up by seven, but Vanderbilt been able to answer all day. Umo, it looks like he's going to return another one, but no, the shoelace tackle. But they also return it on their side of the 50, setting up Carter Samuels in this offense to answer back and fast. And they throw it deep with the rocket catch I'm not very proud of, but it works tying it up at 35s. Third quarter still, but so much scoring already as each team has five touchdowns. Big play here by Arkansas. As you can see, big play. Tyler Wilson, 438 yards passing, beats the old school record. Career day for Tyler Wilson in this one until he throws that pick. Wish he had that one back. The guy makes the right call, not taking it out of the end zone. Carter Samuels trying to capitalize on it as he'll hit Cole over the middle. And that puts them on their side of the 50 on the 49-yard line, third and five, trying to keep the drive alive. Carter Samuels hits Umo. He tries to break it out to the outside. They're inside the red zone as he just gets tackled. Carter Samuels will take it up here, tucking up the middle in second and nine, making it first and goal, just picking up the nine yards I need. Late here in the fourth quarter, it's 35s apiece. Lasting's in the flat. Carter Samuels hits him. That's the fullback picking up one there. That looks exciting. Wilson looking, finds a guy. <laughs> Under two minutes to go in the fourth. Down by seven. Wilson, time's ticking away. Somehow he got open. The cover six did not work there. Tackled as he goes into the end zone. It's 42 apiece. Arkansas just needs a stop here, and they need it fast as Vanderbilt has all three timeouts with under a minute to play in the fourth quarter. Umo tackled there for a loss. It's looking good for Arkansas. Second and 11, Carter Samuels drops back. He'll slide here as they're playing the coverage, thinking they can just guard the long pass, but Carter Samuels is mobile enough to make them pay for it. They're in field goal range now here with all their timeouts but one left. They do a third and three handoff this Norman just to try and get it in the middle, but it goes for a big gain. They call timeout two seconds left. Arkansas tries to ice him, but it should be easy. But it's wilder things have happened in it. His right in the middle of the all state hands 45 42 game winning field goal. Vanderbilt upsetting number 25 Arkansas and getting off this minor losing streak they've had. And a lot of it, although it looks good, Carter Samuels and the Vanderbilt offense not playing their best game. As you pretty much just saw the big plays, the stats will come up here in a little bit. You'll see no one really had a breakout performance other than Umo, and Stacy had a pretty big game. But Arkansas, in general, did the best out of everyone, hands down. No competition. I guess he did all right. Nine for eleven. I was just looking at the stats and saw I didn't make many completions, but I guess I didn't throw the ball as much as I thought I did, which is good. I'm sorry if this is a little scrappy, but I haven't done this in a while. As you can see, nine for eleven, three hundred twenty-three yards, four touchdowns. All right, all right. Carter Samuels played pretty well. I'd still give the better game to Tyler Wilson. I think he was a lot more deadly. Uh, Zach Stacy, as you can see, it seemed more deadly in the rushing game, but it was more of his receiving. He just had the big plays when we needed it. And Uma with his big kick returns and those two big catches, crucial for us. And next week we have Florida, so tune in for that. I'll be playing that here in a minute. But hopefully I'll have it up in the next few days. If you click the top left video, it'll take you to the last Dynasty video I had with Vanderbilt, which is against Georgia. If you Click the bottom left. It will take you to the WSU ASU BCS National Championship game with the game camp featuring me, Lax Rocks Topher, and Stinky Leg Jeffries. It's a fun one. I highly recommend watching that bottom left one of Wazoo ASU. Make sure to follow me on the social networks to keep in touch. All the info for that is down below in the description. Um, make sure you comment on this video. 
like this video and tell your friends because views help, comments and likes help. Subscribe to my channel, that's the most important part because that's what helps me stay motivated to make all these for you. But what I want all of you, no matter who you are, to do is just keep gaming.